Hey, Hadley, what are we going to draw today? A lion corn. Yeah, a mix between a lion and a unicorn. It's going to be really cute. We hope you're going to follow along. Need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. You also need some paper and some <laughs> color ones. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. Let's first start by drawing a letter U for our lion's head. And if you haven't already, you have to go back and watch the first lion video that we did together. You're so sweet. And oh, you're so so little too, you're like this short. Let's draw a lion, Dad. If you haven't seen that lesson, you need to go check it out. You could do a little search in YouTube, just type Art for Kids Hub Lion, and you can watch Hadley when she's super little. Okay, all right, let's keep going. <laughs> let's draw a letter U for the, our lion's face. We're gonna draw about, I'm gonna draw it kind of big so that we can draw our lion a lot bigger this time. When we drew it back then, it was, it was a lot smaller very too. Small. Yeah. Yes, there you go. And then let's add one ear on the left. I'm gonna draw an upside down U that's smaller right here. And let's also draw that same shape on the right side. Now let's connect these two ears together with a little curve. Now let's draw the unicorn horn right here in the middle. We're gonna go up, curve at the top, and then back down. And we can also add the little diagonal texture lines for our unicorn horn. There we go. Yeah, that looks really cute. Now let's draw the inside of the left ear. I'm gonna draw a circle on the left side and the same size circle over here on the right side. My right ear is a little bigger than my left ear. That's, but okay. that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Because <laughs> the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice, yeah. All right, let's keep going. Now let's draw the nose. We're going to draw the letter Y right here towards the bottom of the head. So we're first going to draw a letter V right in the middle, but towards the bottom. And then we can draw the bottom of the Y connecting to the bottom of the face. Yeah. Now let's draw the top of the nose. We can draw a little curve. And then let's also draw the top of the nose coming up. So we're gonna draw a curve coming up and a curve on this side coming up too. Yeah. Now let's draw the rest of this snout. I'm gonna draw a curve coming out from the side and connecting to the bottom. And then also a curve on the right side connecting to the bottom. What's our lion missing? The eyes. The eyes, yeah, let's draw a circle on the left side, and the same size circle over here on the right side. Whoa, those are really big. <laughs> I should have done my winking. Oh, yeah, you could. Really yeah, you could change the eyes if you want. You could also add eyelashes. I'm gonna draw a smaller circle on the top left of each eye, and then color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. This makes the eyes look shiny, that little highlight or reflection. And cute. And cute, yeah. Now let's add the mane. Oh, even though you have eyelashes, yeah. you still want to add a mane? Yeah, because I want to make it colorful. Oh, cool. Okay, let's start here on the horn, and we're going to draw a little zigzag and then connect to the ear. And we can repeat that zigzag on the other side, too. Okay, now let's draw the zigzag going behind the ear and coming out over here. I'm going to draw a curve coming down and then another zigzag. Let's draw it big. We're going to draw it coming out to the side like this. We're going to come under. And then right here, I'm going to stop in the middle. So right, draw an imaginary line coming straight down from the head. And that's where we'll stop. Then let's repeat that same curve on the right side. We're going to imagine it going behind the ear, curving down, add a little zigzag, come down further even further, all the way down. Try to make it look the same on both sides. And then connect. We did it! That looks super cool. Okay, now let's draw the body. We're gonna draw two curves coming down from the main on each side. Yeah. Then let's draw the belly or the chest. We're gonna draw a curve right in the middle, but we don't wanna connect on either side. We wanna leave a little space. Then let's draw the inside of the legs coming down, but matching the outside. We can do the same on the right. 
And then let's connect for the bottom of the paw. We'll just connect the left side and the right side together. And then we can also add the two toe lines on each foot. Now let's add the wings. Our lion unicorn has to fly, right? Yeah. So let's draw a diagonal line coming out to the left and also out to the right. Well, that means it's an alicorn. Alicorn? Ala unicorn. Lion. Lion. Okay. <laughs> and we'll draw a line coming out to Now let's add the feathers for our wings. We're going to draw a little U shape at the end right here. And I'm going to draw that same U shape over here on the right side. Then let's draw another feather right here. We're gonna add it coming in. Gonna keep going, add another one, and then maybe one more right here at the end to connect it. And then we can do the same thing on the right side. So we'll draw another feather coming out, back in, and then one more, and then a small one right here to connect into the body. We only got two legs, so let's add another little one right here in the background behind the first one and then also on the other side. What's our lion missing? A tail. Yeah. Let's draw a little tail coming out to the side. I'm going to draw an S curve coming up. And then let's make it look thicker by adding another line that matches right next to it. This is a really long tail because <laughs> it, it has to really connect back it. here. Yeah, let's draw a U shape right here to connect those two lines. Oh, and you could draw it to the side yeah. since yours is, yeah, you could draw a backwards C. There you go. Now let's draw the top of the tail. I'm going to draw the curve coming up and in on this side. And you can go out to the side. Yeah. There you go. I love that yours is different. And then right here, I'm going to draw a curve that S's and connects in. I'm going to add two little texture lines right here on the inside of the tail. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our lion unicorn or lion corn, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, let's pick out the colors. We're using our biannual markers to color with. The first color we have is Y315, which is kind of a light brown yellow color. But you don't have to use markers, you can use color pencils. Yeah, or whatever else you have at home. Let's first color in the face on our lion. I'm going to start here and color the ears and also the around the eye, but we're going to leave the center part white and also the snout white. You can pause the video and take time to color your own drawings. Yeah. Now let's switch to our dark brown Y648 for the nose. And then we can also switch to our pink color. This is R605. Let's color in the inside of the ears. We can also add the stripes to the unicorn horn. And also let's add stripes to the mane. So I'm gonna color a stripe right here on the side. Well, I'm gonna make it kind of a thick stripe too. Like that on the left side. And then I'm also gonna match that same stripe on the right side. We also colored another stripe on the horn and added a little pink to the tail. Now let's switch to our yellow color, Y003. I'm going to add a stripe right below the pink one. And if you overlap, it'll look a little orange too, which I think is kind of cool too. So let's add a stripe here on this side. And I'm going to add the same stripe on the right side so it matches. Now you don't have to color exactly the same as us, right? Mm -hmm. You could change the colors any way you want. You could use different colors. You could change the pattern. So it's maybe it's not stripes. It could be polka dot. That would look really cool. Yeah. Or like sprinkles on a oh, cupcake. That yes. would be fun. I'm gonna also color in a stripe on the tail. Now I'm ready to switch to a different color. Ooh, maybe I'm gonna add a stripe up here first really quick. Add a little yellow at the very top on each side. All right, now let's switch to our teal color B714 and add another stripe right after the yellow one. I think I'm going to add a green little triangle shape right here in the very center. Then let's also add a teal color up here next to the ear. And let's do the same thing on the right side. And don't forget, we should add this color too to the tail. Tail. Yeah, right here. Oh, that looks awesome. 
Now let's switch to a light blue B203, and I'm gonna color in the center part right here in the middle. Oh, maybe this, this could have been a warm color too, since it's right next to another cool color. Mm -hmm. That's all right, I'll just use this color. Maybe the next time I'd use orange. That would make it look more like a stripe. I'm gonna add it up here next to the ears. I think I'm gonna use yellow in between on the horn. Oh, we could use this light blue for a little shadow on the wings. So I'm gonna trace around the wings down here. There we go, that looks really cool. And right here on this feather. Oh, we could also add a little shadow next to the mane. So I'm gonna trace around the mane right here to add that shadow. And then we'll add the blue around each of the feathers. I added a blue stripe to the horn, and then maybe at the very top, oh, I like that your horn is different. We can add yellow to the very top. I'm gonna go back around the outside of my lion and make the lines darker. What are you adding? Oh, that makes it look like it has powers yes. coming off the horn. <laughs> I gotta add that too. How did you do it? Like lines like that? And then smaller oh, lines. and then smaller lines on the inside. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, now I'm gonna go around. This part will fast forward, but I'm gonna make the outside line around the whole drawing a little thicker just to make it look cute. Oh, I love those stars. I'm gonna add those too, Hadley. Those are really cute. It really makes our lion look like it has magical powers. Yes. Is that how you did it? I love those yeah. stars. That's a really cool way to draw a star. You draw an upside down V and then side Vs mm -hmm. and then one on the bottom and then one on the side, huh? That's cute. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna add a few more like you did and then color them in yellow. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our lion unicorn. I love it so much. It's so cute. Yeah, it really is. This is a fun lesson that you can even memorize and then draw again anytime you want. Yeah, I'm going to draw this again on my sketchbook. That would be really cute. You could also add extra things like clouds. Maybe your lion is sitting on a cloud. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add even more lions and they're all going to be dancing. <laughs> In the background? Yeah. <laughs> that would be really cute. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing with us today. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. I'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, that's we're gonna use that one. They'll know it when it's from. It's yeah, if they watch the other one, yeah.